Hey, my name is Michael. Uh, you see here I've got some of my different rifles out and I've got some targets. Alright. What I try to do is I only have a few minutes. I'm not a videographer. I'm just a retired military uh, guy that did a lot of, you know, I used to train a lot of soldiers, you know, as a, as a team of squadron, platoon sergeant, ran a lot of ranges. Then I'm, you know, later on became a first sergeant and, and a instructor at a range. So I know more shit, but I don't know everything. I'm no expert. I know the what I got taught, and I'm actually pretty good with AR-15s. You know, AR-15 is just a civ civilianized version of the M16. And as you see here, I'm quite an enthusiast. The way I do good marksmanship and the, what I share, I always pay it forward. A lot of confused people out there. I have, uh, you know, my sisters, uh, sister-in-laws, never even shot a twenty two. Within an hour, I had her firing an M4 and qualified, you know. So I've taught people who've never fired an uh, M16 or AR-15 in their life. It's not that hard. The basic thing is getting whatever version you have on Battleside Zero, okay? And there's a million YouTube videos that say that show you an A1, A2, A4, M4 carbine, you know. Whatever you have, if you have a newer version of a carbine, just you have an M4 carbine, okay? Uh, if you have a longer barrel rifle, basically if you have a fixed, you know, like you see here, the old A1s, pretty easy to tell, okay, by the little side aperture there. Uh, A2's got, you know, still fixed carrying handle with the uh, elevation adjustment, very easy. And then you got the A4 and the M4, okay. That is just basically a... Uh, it's what we called an SPR, okay, and it's just a longer barrel with a long range scope, adjustable scope, and I can take that 5.56 round and I can put it out there and accurately. And I basically I take an M16 12 cage target, you know, 300 meters, and I put all. Uh, hopefully, I get a couple in there. I usually put all of them in the circle on the target, you know, 40 for 40 or 39 for 40. I usually pull one or two. Okay, but here's the deal. I don't only have a few minutes, okay? So, look to what you got to do to put it on battle size zero. Basically, all elevation knobs, if you take, you center. God, I am not a videographer, sorry. Center all your carrying handle, ele uh, elevation knobs to the center. You have the tick mark. There's a small hole, big hole that's limited visibility and uh, non-limited. I'm doing this. I'm not very good. Front side post, just uh, push down the little tick mark here in the front, spring loaded, and turn it until the uh, base of the front side post is flush with this, okay? The important thing is, is knowing, use the military standards, okay? Get yourself a good manual and get these on freaking Amazon now, eBay, okay? And you can find out for whatever you need to do, you know, A1, A2, A4. The main thing you need to do to zero your weapon is have the proper zero target, Okay? Here I have an M4 carbine. I use that for all my carbines, okay? Usually, basically, if you buy it from the right place, and a lot of your gun ranges will have the right targets, you'll have the M4 and the A2. This is an all-weather uh, M4 one side, A2, A4 on the other side, and they basically use the same standards, okay? But once you battle side zero them, and you put it on that tip mark, the eight-thirds, okay, on the left side, is that that's where you'll see it. You'll turn the knob all the way down until it gets to eight-thirds. Okay, and then you'll zero it, firing until you get it all adjusted. And then once you're done zeroing it, and you're going to go over to do qualification, okay, then each weapon has a different set of standards. And all you got to do is read the bottom of the target, M4. Okay, once you get a zeroed, you don't do nothing. You just go right out straight to the qual. A2, A4 has different standards, okay? And I'm kind of doing this from memory because I can't read this. And... Uh, you go all the way down to eight thirds a2 i believe once you get done you get the zero completed and you go over to the qualification range it'll spell it out here I believe it's uh after you get zero and you go to the qual range a2 is one click and then the a4 is two clicks i believe uh, yep there you go and it's that easy if you follow that you just zero it you get a battle side zero to adjust your sights flush in the front all the way in on to eight thirds in the in the rear, and that's your carbines and your rifles. Zero it, and then once you get it zeroed, depending on what type of rifle you have, carbine or whatever, follow these instructions. 
okay? And it'll even tell you how to adjust the front side post left side. If I'm hitting up here and I'm making my adjustment, then I'll turn the rear side up windage, you know, nine, 10 clicks in that direction. Okay, and the front sight post would go to the left to get it back to center. Okay, it's very important. I see all these guys and I have these friends and even ex-military, I can't believe it. And all these people on YouTube, oh yeah, you take this hunting rifle, you put it on 100 yards. That's ridiculous, okay? What you do is you take a 25 meters zero target and you put it at 25 meters, whether that's outside in a safe place or in your indoor range, you'll always have them marked out, you know, the 7 out to the 25 is usually the end. You can get them there, or you can buy your own. Uh, usually it's a lot of harder to get them these days, uh, but there's always a way. For these uh, good uh, all-weather targets, I've been buying them from uh, right in the rain. 14 bucks for 100 of them, okay? And then for zero targets, I got like these A1s. These are just reproductions from... Uh, Target online, and you can just look that up on the internet. It's got a part number there. And also, here's another good one. Sometimes they'll be a little bit low. But there's the another reproduction A1. A1, A2, A4, all those M16 series, they're all the same. The dimensions are the same. Okay, and I'll explain that a little bit. But there's law enforcement targets. Lawtargets.com or whatever. Okay, so whatever you do, once you've zeroed your... Your weapon, okay, your AR-15 or a carbine, all right, and you come over, you make your little adjustments. You send this one back down to 25 meters. Also, here's the deal. The M16 round, when it travels down range, basically comes out of the barrel and, and it climbs out into an arc. Maximum effective range of an M16 is 300 meters. That's everybody. So when the round comes out, if once we've zeroed it at 300, because that's what you're doing, you're zeroing your weapon at 300 meters so that you can shoot accurately out to there. When you get over here to the qualification range, the way that the round comes out, if you follow those standards, okay, the round will come out and it'll climb, okay, whether it goes higher or lower, okay, depending on the distance. So what they do on the qualification range, this is what it looks like if you go on an M16 range in the Army or the Marines or whatever. All right, this is kind of... When you're looking down range and you see the target pop up on the pop-up range, it'll look like this size in your sights. That's why they're all these different ranges, okay? So, you just do the same thing. You shoot 20 supported, uh, 20 unsupported. What that means is you go 20 supported like on a bipod, okay? Like I have a bipod on this long rifle. and then Or in a foxhole or whatever if you have a range that's available like that. Sandbag stacked up with your weapon supported on sandbag with your hand. All right, and then unsupported, whereas you're just holding the rifle in a tight, good tight body position with your elbows on the ground. Okay, so 20 and 20. But if you're on an indoor range shooting off a bench, who gives a shit? Just shoot four in each one. Okay, I usually do. I put 20 rounds in one magazine, 20 in a second magazine. And what I'll do is I'll use my bipod. I have a little cheap plastic bipod I use sometimes for the front one. And this is just me, so, so I can keep the standards. Shoot 20 rounds, two per, boom, 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 all the way up. Load the second magazine, and then I go to my elbows, okay, on the bench. Some ranges will let you get on the ground and actually fire on the floor, you know, just depending on how the targets are down there, what they got for protection. But some places, nope, you got to shoot right on the bench. So you got to talk to your... your uh, Gun range owners. Hopefully you got land of your own. You can do whatever you want. Okay. But if you follow these, these standards using these targets. Okay. And you can look up fundamentals. If I had someone else here to help me out. I'd make a better video. But uh, if you touch your nose on the chart. You know the tip of your nose. Right. Hold the weapon. All right. Put your nose on the tip of the charging handle. Look down the sights with your firing eye. Line up your. Put your peep sight at the top of the sight. Dead center in the peep sight, okay, and then aim dead center, center mass, but that top sight, sight post and your your rear peep sight, dead center. And don't I uh, get these? I see these videos. These guys, these crazy ideas of of putting them on the bottom. Well, you're not always going to have aim center mass, three shot groups. Get it zeroed. Do your adjustment to it. Go to the range and then fire. Same thing, aim, center, mass. Okay, but fundamentals are important. These a lot of people will not do good because when they put their cheek on the 
on the weapon and go back and forth. Every time you move even a half an inch or so, you're changing your sight picture. Okay, it's very, very important, okay? So what I used to do is I'd slide my cheek back and forth because these old A2, the A1s and A2 buttstocks, I got short arms. So I'd kind of be adjusted. So this Irish E5 infantry guy that was working on a range as a safety told me, put the tip of your nose right there on the charging handle. All right, look through your sight, squeeze the trigger, you know, watch your breathing, a couple of breaths, let out and hold, easily squeeze the trigger, and bam, I was a marksman from that day on. Okay, it's that easy. That's the most important thing I, I can tell you. Line up your sights, put your nose on the tip of the charging handle, breathe, a couple of breaths, nice and easy, and hold, squeeze, nice and easy, bam, target hits. You keep your sight picture downrange. Don't lift your head up and look, oh, what'd I do? Keep your sight picture, line her up, breathe, hold, squeeze the trigger. It's easy that. That's what I teach my kids. I teach my little nephews and nieces, all right? And they all do well. All right, and these experts, these freaking hunting rivals doing 100 yards. My friend that uh, was a sniper said, oh, yeah, I just used the zero target. I put it at 50 meters. That way I'm, I could shoot 600. Well, I guess that concept is okay, but dude, he can't hit the freaking target. He's not qualifying well, so I stick to the standards. I, you know, I got 